Hello and welcome to the Marriage Be Hard Conversations. I am Kev on stage. This is my lovely wife. Miss Kev on stage. And today we are joined in conversation by our friends from the bald and the beautiful Marcus and Angel Tanksley. If you guys are watching or listening and don't know them, could you please introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Angel Tanksley. I'm Marcus Tanksley. We are uh, half of the bottom beautiful. <laughs> yes, there you go. We've been married for 15 years together for mm -hmm. 18, and we create content together. Nice, nice. Well, we're going to be having some conversations about laughing, loving, and learning, which is from our book, Marriage Be Hard, <laughs> which is out September 13th or available now, depending on when you are watching this. Buy a copy. Melissa, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this. This is so different than the ball. It really is. I'm loving it. It's like, what's happening? Where are we going? Uh, thank you, Angel and Marcus, for joining us for our Marriage Be Hard conversations. If you watching may not know, or the two of you may not know, we have several different chapters in the book Marriage Be Hard out September 13th. And each chapter, we tackle a different be hard of marriage. This conversation with the two of you will be centered around quarantine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. big q big t the yeah. very unique experience that we've all encountered together in the lore in the lord in the year of our lord and savior 2020 yes uh yes. we learned quite a bit about each other mm -hmm. about ourselves about marriage about relationships there it, listen there was a whole host of learning yes. that took place yeah. in the year 2020 so we want to dive deep we want to get into it but before we do that we have one question that we ask all of our guests because we have so many yes and Only that question is conversation number two <laughs> what is the biggest misconception about you guys's marriage especially because you guys have podcasts and reels and all that type of stuff uh that you do together um, social media can kind of paint things one way. What do you think people might have wrong about you? I uh, would say it's more of a misconception of him. Marcus is a softy when it comes to me. And it might be difficult to see that in how we present ourselves online. Yeah. But he is a oh, yeah. big softy when it comes to me. BS? <laughs> Sure. Big softy. Yeah. Marcus is a big softy with the guns and the whiskey. With the guns and the whiskey. You yeah, guns my, and whiskey with, with my wife and kids. It's, it what does that mean? What does that look like? Um, Marcus really does not like if he hurts my feelings, his day is ruined without me having to ruin it for him. Do bullets come out of your eyes? When you <laughs> lead. Lead? lead tears. Pure you lead? can hear them hit the floor. <laughs> They hit the floor and they dent, dent the floor a little bit. Mm -hmm. Don't even crack open. Yeah, like he, I would say like, he definitely truly cares about not having, not being the reason why I am upset or sad. Like that, he'd, he'd rather cuss out uh, folk in the middle of a church <laughs> and be deemed not saved. Before. You have. Be deemed not saved, not love the Lord, than to upset me in private. Wow. Yeah. That is a misconception. Uh, especially like <laughs> the way we, even like earlier on when I first started, you know, getting in front of the camera, being in, on with her, people were like, oh, he's so mean. Angel could do better. I'm like, shut up. You don't know me. Angel could do better? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, people just Dang. fly off and say stuff. Oh, you meant when you guys first got together? No, no, no. no, no. Oh, on, we f when he first joined me on camera. Oh. Yeah, just because I'm just like, you know, just I'm blunt. I say it. Mm. And then I'm like, all right, so how could people better receive that? I really don't be caring. I did, didn't care. Now I'm like, all right, Marcus, <laughs> soften up on your delivery a little bit. But <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because all Marcus's social media is negative. It's Marcus ain't on the gram. Tank, don't talk. Uh, it's all like, I don't want to be here. But with my, Angel, I Check do. my last five posts. <laughs> And see how far apart they were spread. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna stick true to this thing. You barely gonna see me. Hey, no, that's a good one though. I didn't even think about that. Miss <laughs> Kev but, on uh, stage. I don't want to be here, dog. Miss <laughs> Kev off stage. There you go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I didn't. I didn't even think about that. I was trying to think like, what is? I don't know. I think another misconception. I think from the people that follow us, uh, the closest is that. We have this extraordinary amount of money. <laughs> no, people think we got money? Oh, yeah. Oh. 
That's wrong. You don't think about that me about me too. I'll be like, what gives Shut you up, that Patty. impression? Uh, you. you telling them correct (laughs) correct um one of the second questions that we asked all of our couples before we get directly into the quarantine be hard of it all um is yes or no agree or disagree is marriage hard no no Mm -hmm. tell us why i hear that i've always heard that like you know it's hard work and you you got to do this and got to do that and i always me and Angel always look at each other. And I'm like, so is something difficult coming down? We are waiting the pipeline, for the shoe to drop. We're 15 years in, and it's just like, nah, this is pretty easy and fun. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I mean, granted, it ain't all like rainbows, but I'm like the bad, the, the bad parts is like, hi. You remember we was mad because you got the wrong ice cream? <laughs> like, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> like I would, I don't know. Maybe people's definition of hard and is different than my definition of hard. I've seen a lot of marriages that ended in divorce, mm-hmm. um, and the things that they have gone through. Not to compare, we haven't come anywhere near the stuff that they had to yeah. like mm-hmm. fight through to get to to ultimately decide this is not for us. Mm-hmm. So. For me, in my life experience, this is not one of the hard things I've had to do. Yeah. That's, I mean, but I can see how someone might say it is hard. I, however, would not. Yeah. Personally, in my experience with this one. Yeah, I was like, clearly Kevin's doing something wrong. He named his book. But no. <laughs> you, but oh. See, he's, this see? is why people yeah. don't think he's a softy. Yeah. He's a, no, I was just playing. We want to get a title that people see when they see it at the Hudson Bookseller. But sellers. no, but that's a common thing. It's, it's like we, yeah. we definitely hear that more than not. Of yeah, yeah, it's hard. You know, it's hard work. Um, is it? It's it can. I can see where people can think of keeping this person happy or making sure that you're not getting stagnant i can see how that could be challenging but i wouldn't call it hard marriage be ch- marriage be challenging challenging is that word in hard if you put up a th- is it thesaurus. control v what is it when you could do the uh the thesaurus hey. automatically hey, oh hey. i don't know I didn't control know you do t that. on microsoft word yeah back in the day on microsoft word uh, I used yeah to i can see how it could come with challenges yes <laughs> not be challenging i think we've just been blessed that a lot of the growth that i feel like can cause or lack of growth and uh what do you call it what's the opposite of growth stagnation we could say that yeah very good mm-hmm. um Shrinkage. that's what i was thinking of when people go in the opposite oh regress direction. regress Backslide. regression Backslide. there we go <laughs> um Backslide. we've experienced at the same time because mm. i think that's what can cause it to be really really hard is when like one person is having a lot of growth and the other person is either stagnant or regressing yeah or vice versa and luckily both growth and regression we have been right on the same page getting stupider together or getting yeah. <laughs> or getting smarter together so yeah. that has been a blessing that we did not coordinate that was nothing but the lord thank god got it mm-hmm. Very good. So one of the things that you guys are talking about is um, obviously I think this is a blessing. I think this is beautiful. I love these answers for quarantine. What did it teach you about yourselves individually? And then what did it bring up as a couple? I'm going to leave it there. I was going to provide more context. I'm not. Oh, uh, I love well, the witness. I love context from <laughs> Alyssa. Now for me, as far as learning about myself, I realized as much of an introvert as I am, I still want the option to be an introvert. Mm -hmm. When I'm forced to be an introvert, I'm very much so an extrovert. I'm like, I want to cook for more. I want to be on the grill for more than just Angel and the kids. I want to grill out for my friends. I want people to be around. I want people to be around so I can say, hey, I don't want to be around people. (laughs) 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 But removing that option is just like, no. Like I think it's human nature. Like you need, like people need to be around people. You yeah. meant to socialize, even if you do are a loner, you will lose your mind if you don't communicate with people. Yeah. Not to say I wasn't communicating with anybody, but it's just like, oh no, you're forced to stay here and be here, and that taught me that hey, you're an, you're an introvert. However, mm-hmm. you're an extroverted introvert. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, for me, like. I really got to see how much I truly love my family and like doing stuff for them. But because I had the outlet of leaving them, 
uh, prior to the pandemic, I realized how important that portion of my life was. Like having that removed, I did get to do like a lot of fun stuff that I would have never had time to do. Like I took the kids camping inside of the kitchen and like planned a whole day of a night of like we did s'mores. I hid fake animals in our backyard that they had to find. Like I got to do really fun stuff. But um, because I didn't get to leave the house ever, (laughs) I drank a lot. (laughs) (laughs) I realized I was like, oh, was drinking a lot. Oh my God, <laughs> is it twelve? <laughs> <laughs> glug, glug, glug. <laughs> Kids are still home, huh? Right. And I mean, and I had no, I had barely any. The only time I actually got to leave the house was when me and you started doing the podcast together. That was literally the only time I was gone away from the kids. They were in the house with me. I was trying to help them with school. And these are all things that, like, a part of me had always wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. I didn't realize how important I needed to have, like, a reset with my friends or just even a reset by myself. Let me just get my nails done somewhere for the two hours Mm -hmm. and not see y'all's faces or think about y'all at all. And um, so instead I had to go into a drunken stupor (laughs) to think that they weren't (laughs) – to think that they weren't around. So that's what I learned about myself. What I learned about this one here, uh, or about us, was that I actually did enjoy being around him. We have always had a marriage where he was gone for most of the day. Mm. Mm. Even with quarantine, I was gone every other day. Yeah, but I never yeah. had you at home during the week at right, all. Right, right. That was something we had never experienced. Our entire relationship has been, we only had maybe truly five six hours at the end of the day mm-hmm. to spend with each other it was never like a all right uh, other than like the weekend yeah. you know what yeah. i'm saying um so i was worried that i was going to find out huh. <laughs> <laughs> i don't want you here i, <laughs> I want to do the things that i want to do in this house without your opinion on top of it but uh it turned out like yo I enjoy you being in the space that I am in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I am doing the things that I want to do that might not even involve you. I enjoy you actually being in the space. Because I was actually, uh, I was I was worried about that. I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I, I wanted him home because I wanted him safe because obviously we didn't know what was going on in the world. Yeah. I was like, everything could be burning down and, um, and we might be next. But at the same time, I was like, this is going to be real different because for what, 2020, that was our, we had been married for 13 years mm-hmm. at that time or something like that. Um, we had never experienced having to, I was afraid it was going to be suffocating. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. And we lived in a smaller house at that time. So there's very few places you can go. It's right. either you in the dining room or the bedroom or maybe the den. But then after that, we back in each other's faces again. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, so that was what I feel like I learned about us in that time. Yeah, for me, it's similar. It was um, not just from being away from work, glad to be home, but I always wanted to spend more time with my family, but I was always mm-hmm. gone. So those days that I was home, I always looked forward to. It's like I, nothing made me feel better than knowing I can get up, for one, not have to go into the office, but two, be around my family. Yeah. Um, And that never – that never dwindled away. It was just like, no, I, I could definitely do that. As a matter of fact, I could spend more days at home. Yeah. You know, the the weeks that we I only work go in the office two days, how about we make it, you know, one day or no days at work, you know? <laughs> um but then as the Yeah, now I'll have to keep it at that. Like that was one thing I definitely enjoyed is be for one, spending my entire career away from my family throughout the week and extended days at work finding out oh no i do actually like being around out these people <laughs> i think um <clears throat> i had gotten used to being so busy so much what was surprising was we had just got a new house at the very beginning beginning of quarantine like the first month that big old house the big yeah. old house and the boys that was their first time uh having their own room mm-hmm. so what and we had a smaller house at the very beginning of quarantine um that was also filled with boxes. Filled with boxes, so it was even like wasn't no den. We couldn't even get to the back room. It was filled with furniture and Barely stuff. The, the dining room. Yeah. So the boys used to always be 
making some noise, wrestling, laughing, whatever. When we moved to that house, Melissa and I had this room here. Zay had his room. Joe had his room. They had their own bathroom. I had an office there. We was in there often four people in four rooms with four closed doors. And it was such a different experience than the house that we were used to of like laughter and all this stuff. And I think I was guilty. I felt guilty about how much time I enjoyed, even like on a plane, like on a plane, I had a whole situation that go noise canceling on boop, R and B sleep, wake up, watch the show, whatever, spending time in a hotel room by myself. Cause I was on tour prior to the quarantine. Um, and it was just hotel room into the show. And I would just have my toes wiggling room service come in. And then all of a sudden I was at home and I was like, dang, I don't, I want to be, I want to be in that room by myself. Why do I want to be in a room by myself? My family's here. And then I would be going in the room by myself, watching the office. And Melissa would be like, why is everybody in a different room? And I was just like, can you close the door? Can you go away? <laughs> <laughs> so I was watching the office, but I felt guilty because like Marcus, I'm usually gone on the road or traveling or whatever, or going to work or shooting podcasts, just going, 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 going. And at the beginning, I thought we'll be staying at home and we'll have a lot of time. And then I was just like, dang, all that going and going. I was I was used to that. Mm -hmm. Staying, staying, staying felt abnormal. And it's much easier to have a family night when you ain't seen them. You are allowed to miss them. And then when you see them every second of every day, you don't miss them. And then you didn't. I didn't want to do the family stuff. I was just like, <laughs> just go. Just I want to watch Michael Scott. He's funny and comforting. You know what I mean? So and I'm the uh, extra. Intro. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's I that's I Ken's biggest misconception is that he's extroverted all the time, y'all. He's not. I am like a robot off of a shift. When them cameras go off, it's like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I have to recharge these batteries to be this big person. Uh, after I record them dad jokes, I'll be like, ha, 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 and yeah. <laughs> post. So, <laughs> go ahead. No, I was just saying I felt guilty. I never thought. I thought I would be like, oh, this is great. You yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. I remember that. And I'll let you go. No, go ahead. I was on the treadmill in Tampa when I got my first cancellation. I was supposed to go to a black, tw uh, black Twitter event in New York. And Twitter emailed me. They were like, yo, out of a, this was my first out of abundance of caution, out of abundance of caution email. Out of abundance of caution, we're going to cancel this event, but we're going to pay you guys. And I was like, sweet. And I told Liz, hey, they're going to give me the amount of money. <laughs> And I get to come home early. I'm going to be able to go to JoJo soccer tournament. She was like, oh, this is great. We're going to go to Arizona. Remember mm -hmm, this? Mm -hmm. Well, when I tell you I got on the plane, let's text you. She said, man, the uh, tournament's canceled. I was like, what? And then it was just, also this is canceled. And your tour dates. And this. Mm -hmm. And then it was just like, wait, I thought it was just one abundance of caution. Right. And now everybody's cautious. And, now, and then my other thing was fear. I remember touring was our biggest income. And it was, it didn't go down. It went to zero. Right. So I was always away, afraid of getting canceled. Like, oh my God, if I get canceled, I'm going to make no money. I got canceled by coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. That went everybody. down to zero. Then our podcast ads went down. It was just like, oh my God. So that was the other thing that was, uh, I learned about myself that my wildest dreams could come true. And I didn't even say nothing crazy to nobody's audience. It was just a virus that canceled me. Isn't mm. that crazy? Well, uh, during quarantine, I guess actually slightly after quarantine is when we started like our therapy journey as a couple. Mm -hmm. um, because we realized that during quarantine for us, it unearthed. I don't know why. I almost, I think you've used this analogy where quarantine was like a pressure cooker, mm -hmm. uh, where it was an opportunity where all of these things were kind of building underneath the surface for years, to be honest, for years at a time. And then all of a sudden you're in this environment where it's like, so we have two options. We're either going to kill each other mm -hmm. or we're going to discuss these so things can get better. Yeah. My question is, what I don't know if quarantine in some ways we still into quarantine some ways we're not uh therapy occurred for you guys in in therapy uh-huh therapy happened for you guys during quarantine and was it an opportunity to grow your marriage in a way that looks different than pre-quarantine am I, is my question making sense you're asking if we did therapy during quarantine correct so not during that 2020 okay. where we were stuck in the house with each other. Okay. Mm. We did not uh, do therapy then. It was the tour that made me go, ah, we're, we're, yeah, we're going to need to do the yes. tour. Yeah. Okay. So post quarantine, the wait, this is before quarantine. Mm -hmm. No, I did tour after, after. 2021. 
oh dang my math is off. Yeah, I, it, it didn't seem like quarantine has ruined yeah, yeah, time yeah. And space. Yeah. My, There's no constant the time space continuum. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 the quarantine ripped the fabric yeah. in the space time continuum. Dang, I really thought it was before. Okay, correct. Okay, all the time pieces are coming together right now. Okay, uh-huh. so quarantine happened. Uh, we're out of quarantine. Things are great. You guys have had a great time during quarantine. Things are fantastic. What is the, because really at the end of the day, quarantine is a marker and it is a period of transition. Mm-hmm. So for us, that period of transition was quarantine. It um, it unearthed things or allowed things to become much closer to the surface yeah. when the busyness of life, you mentioned nails. I, I probably said that 3,000 times. I literally times was thinking that when she said that. During quarantine. The busyness of life allows things to keep going as the status quo as you know things normally are because you're out and you're busy and you're doing things and we don't really have time what happens when you are still okay is that your mind is like hey you have time right fantastic let's pull all of this stuff <laughs> <laughs> that you previously didn't have to let's bring it all everyone yeah. march yes come on come on come on Get on. close. You all know yes, each other. Come yeah. on, everyone. <laughs> everyone. Like Are we all here? Good. Yeah. It was like a volcano. Like a volcano. Yeah, it absolutely. It was like the tectonic plates. Yeah, for sure. When you leave, like work or go get your nails done or you go to your job, then plates shift away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're apart. Quarantine was, you was just like, here's then, something from yeah, 2003 yeah. you never yeah. talked about. Yeah. And yeah. also, you're just never leaving. Yeah. So them things and all that gas. And then it was just like, yeah. Yeah. So, but the interesting thing about about life is that we're always going to have seasons. We're always going to have transitions. Yeah. yeah, and those can look like you know very different things depending on where you are in your journey of life, what you're doing, what your nature of work is, all of those things. So it definitely was for us. Can you tell us what the the marker, the transition, the season of tour was for you that made you think, you know what, this is a good idea to take this on now? Two things. One, now it's me being away from the Mm -hmm. house, but like in a a different way because it'd be like, oh, four days, you're just not going to see me. Mm -hmm. Um, As well as tour was the marker for we now work together. We had never been. Beginning of a new part of your relationship. Yes. Mm. Very good. Mm. Very good. Stay here. Stay here, Angel. Go deep in this. Oh, I'm about to get you in there. I'm about to (laughs) jump in. So. A big thing is that, okay, so Marcus, him having the revelation that he really wanted to be able to spend more time with his family and that his current work situation was not going to allow for that. Nor Did was, that start with quarantine? He had, I have been, <laughs> go <laughs> ahead, you it. go ahead. Uh, Stop. <laughs> nah, uh, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, now. Uh, nah, <laughs> so that was, um, like I had a whole epiphany, like working toward a certain position at work talking to people in that position, being close to it, and then just realizing, I don't want to do this. So that was the first terrifying thing. Mm-hmm. Then, always in the it back of my- It was the first what? Terrifying. terrifying. Chad, I heard you say the first pine cone to fall, and I was like- <laughs> And the fact that you're from Kentucky, that was like, okay, that's Is just the first I haven't heard anymore. Is this a I've never heard of? I had the first pine cone to fall. <laughs> I don't even see how that Usually I, I'm quick to come back. I don't even know how to. <laughs> That's right. It's like, it so, grew into a big so old pine tree. the first pine cone to fall. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it actually does it make does sense. It does make sense. It's the new season. The pine cone to fell. <laughs> Fall's coming in. The trees is dying. Sure, <laughs> I was confused. I'm not uh, um, so that was the first terrifying thing of realizing that I've been working towards something that I actually don't want. Mm. Um, and God has get, given me a path to get there. Mm. Right. Even though he was probably like, that ain't what you want to do, but you keep asking here. Keep going, going on. Yeah, keep on. Go You'll figure it out soon enough. You you go ahead. Group. I told you, go ahead. <laughs> but um, so that that happened. And then I always having in the back of my mind, like, I want to step away from this nine to five and definitely do this. I just don't know what that looks like, how it goes. This is stable is what I've been doing. Yeah. Comfortable in this. Through quarantine, I had no worries about career or anything. Because the goals that they had set for our projects still had to happen. They didn't care what happened at this point. At, in 2028, this is going to happen. Mm-hmm. So, so we're going like, to keep Pandemic working. or not. Pandemic or not. Happen. It ain't going to be no pandemic. If it is, we done, we done already spent the money. So y'all got jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so then I, I, was, I was good through that. So then stepping away from all that stability or what felt like stability and into something completely new. Fish out of water. I've been knowing what I know how to do, what I do. I've been the man for 20 years. Mm-hmm. And now 
you don't know nothing about nothing. Mm-hmm. Or no nan, you here <laughs> because of your personality, kind of, and what you've been doing with your wife. Yeah. And you don't understand how money comes in, really, even though it's been explained to you over the past six months of, hey, Marcus. You should have direct deposit. Yeah. <laughs> Every Friday. I know. Oh, you got paid <laughs> weekly? Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, weekly? Nice. Direct salary? I ain't got to work all week. Money's still coming. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so even her explaining, like, but this is what we're doing. Me, This is what me and you are bringing in together. And I'm like, that's significantly more than. <laughs> and then this is what we're also doing. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm doing. And then you can possibly grow this, but you can't because you're at work. And then, you know, oh, I'm losing money at work. Now, I'm telling myself that I'm losing money going to work, but this is concrete. This ain't. So that was the other transition of actually, all right, now I'm stepping away from my career. Now, step away from my career, going into, people call it stay-at-home dad, but I was actually working. But then transitioning to her leaving and then me being home with the kids like which i had never done like being home with them all the time them entering a completely different educational experience that nobody knows what the heck is going zoom on zoom school oh it was uh-huh. awful it was awful i told y'all many times that i'm in elementary school no, literally. <laughs> because you got teachers you got kids everybody's using these tablets and laptops and nobody knows what they're doing listen and the, real quick the end of the first year of zoom school wasn't real that no. was like we got six weeks left. It was, yeah, it was it the was end of the school moving. year. Yeah. That beginning of the next school year, and when it was that was a it. full school year. Yeah. Oh boy, that was a total. Remember, yes. Joe was like, "Man, he what? Was stressed. Yeah, we got to go." The both of the boys were struggling. Oh yeah, uh, no. But oh. they like you. I just want to reiterate: this was not done before. No, in the history of human nature, this is kids not did not school. go to school right. electronically ever. This was completely different. Yeah. The the reason why, not just me leaving, that I was like need therapy is because okay we're about to work together in a field like he said he don't know much about i've been trying to figure this out for it by that time it was 12 years i'd been i started doing a being a content creator back in 2009 Mm -hmm. so i have been like making my way figuring things out so i'm trying to figure out what voice i'm supposed to use with him not to demean him to try to allow him to make mistakes on his own, but also being like, but you're also not going to mess up what I've already done. (laughs) (laughs) So trying to figure out like, okay, this is my, this is my partner, not my employee. Not to say I would demean an employee, but trying to figure out what tone and in what way can I talk to you to get you to understand what I need you to do, but Mm -hmm. to also not, Try to dim what I know. Yeah, that I was like, I, this is Mandarin. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I'm saying right now, I'm gonna mess up. I don't know how to do this it. This is Mandarin. That's that was a big for me, a big a big thing because I was just like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to do this for the people because we're gonna stay in the spot for the people. If you find yourself in a position, people watching, listening, however we gonna decide what this out in the world, uh, for those people. What is your, what did you learn in therapy? Like, what were the nuggets that you're like, this is what I now know and what I do better? Okay. I am really good at initiating conversation. Okay. However, (laughs) (laughs) that doesn't mean that he wants the conversation Mm -hmm. at the time. So that then is how you get the uh, characteristic of being a nagging person it's not so much that i'm nagging i'm just really good at initiating the conversation towards the i thing love that this I reframe want. i love this reframe and come on that's what it is. i'm not nagging i'm initiating conversation i'm initiating conversation but if he's not ready to have the conversation it then feels like nagging so um we had to set a time in a space where he knows the conversation is going to be initiated. So he's not caught off guard. Mm -hmm. He knows that it's going to happen and initiate a safe space for us to both ask for where we could use support. Because I ultimately, a lot of times, just want to take over if I see things not being done the way that I know is going to be to the benefit of our company. Um, So we've created a safe space for me to one, for him to say, Hopefully, okay, I've done X, Y, and Z, but I don't know how to do mm-hmm. A, B, and C. Yeah. And then I can say, 
would you like me to support you in that? Uh, or I can say, hey, I've been doing these things. I really could use you to step up in this area. Do you know how to do it? Do you feel comfortable doing it? Instead of it being, why ain't you doing this and you see me doing this? <laughs> or, you know that was wrong. Mm -hmm. Why does the thumbnail look like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Like yeah. that yeah. yes. So, um, what I have learned, I think your question was what? Yep, yep, you're answering it right there. Oh. It, it's, a, it's an opportunity to give people that are listening like some advice like what have you learned through this process and i think you're you're offering you're basically saying i'm gonna let you say it again but setting time aside yes setting time aside so that i can feel comfortable going to him about whatever it is and not feeling like oh, you're gonna receive this the wrong way i can't say this to you because you're gonna feel like i'm being like uh micromanaging or whatever and then um also making sure he has a safe space to ask whatever questions mm -hmm. whether it be for the third fourth or fifth time or to give him the opportunity to decide where he wants support because there's certain things that marcus is just like no i'm a let me figure this out mm -hmm. even if it doesn't get done on the timeline that you thought know that i am still over here figuring it out and you can leave me be correct is that correct did i mm -hmm. okay. did you want to add anything to your um, yeah, well, with on my end, it was um, further understanding where she was coming from. But also, um, I learned that I can allow myself to make mistakes because initially I was going in and first I didn't want to help with a whole lot of anything because it was like, let me figure it out. And then it was just like, okay, no, let me, I'll, I'll lean on Angel because if it was reverse roles, I'd be like, why don't you just come to me and ask? Mm. So I would do that. But like she just said, everything don't have to be done your way and that's okay yeah um and me figuring out how to verbally say that to her without it feeling like i'm just being combative it's like no i understand that's that's what you thought in <laughs> lack of <clears throat> lack of a better term that's what you thought but this is mine and i'm gonna do it this way and that's fine yeah it's, um it's always like a specific example him and greg doing their podcast right marcus is He's taking off. He's using what he knows. He's asking me questions when he thinks he needs help on something. But for the most part, him and Greg's thing is him and Greg's thing. Now, there was one part that I it was just nagging my spirit because they hadn't got the audio up mm. on any platform. And he kept saying, no, I'm going to do it in this order. And I let him do it that way for about three or four weeks. Finally, I was like, if you just go ahead and upload the thing. He's like, no, I was like, please, just in this moment. Father God, <laughs> did. I said just this one time. Just I said do it just, like it is. just do it the way I'm saying, please, because he didn't realize that there's a whole approval process. So I'm like, if you start it now, then in two weeks when you're saying you want to make them live, everything will already be approved. So that was one of the times where I had to give him the um, independence yes. to try to do it his way for as long as. It is. <laughs> and finally, I was like, this is please. Please. You're physically hurting me. <laughs> yeah. To watch you do this is physically causing me pain. <laughs> causing yeah. me pain. Please, babe. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, her being the expert is just like, it's different ways of doing things also. Yes. So like, the the way I go about doing certain things, it's just like, why don't you do control out? Because I don't do it that way. I do it this way and I get the same result. Man, and and it's one of those, we both come to the realization like, all right, it's cool. Like, it's, cool. it's cool. One of the things that I think is so interesting in relationships, and normally somebody <laughs> takes on this role. I'm about to give it to you. What? Are you ready for the, it's about to be a bullet. That's, it's it's going to go like this. Because <laughs> we literally just had this conversation. One of the things that's really interesting about marriage, I'm someone often takes hair. on this. It's okay. You don't have to hear it. They will. Okay. Uh, that's so interesting about marriage. And somebody often takes on this road. My way is the right way. <sighs> Kevin would lead you to believe it is me. No, no, no. Listen, I want to say something. It's not my way is the right way. It's the only way. It's the only and the right way. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. It. It's I'm the a, only I'm right way. I have figured this out. The right way to do. And the way I do is the way it is. Because it is effective and efficient and it is the Ooh. only way. And I thought of it. Therefore, you should do it this way. This is the real issue when you it says not even I, I know we're talking about working together, but the reality is we just had this conversation with a uh, belief in event. You work with your partner, even if you don't physically work with your partner. You do not what I mean to, by yeah. that, if you don't collect a W-2 together or a 1099 together, you're still negotiating life together. Yes. Yeah. 
You're still Just negotiating picking kids. picking up dinner or ordering up the kids. and still working together. Like all of those things, you're still working together. So these like personality traits come out regardless yeah. if you are working together yeah. the way we're talking or you are just like living life together and you have yeah. to figure it out. And so what happens is like specifically for us is similar to you guys. Kevin, what you do is different. <laughs> I know you know a lot of things. I appreciate the things oh, you know because there's so much things you very much know. Did you ever consider that maybe you don't know all the things? Never. Why would <laughs> I consider something that's not true? And <laughs> <laughs> willing to give Kevin, Kevin credit for like, this, the man knows a lot of things. A lot of things about a lot of things as well. He just knows a lot of things. I know a few things, but I go deep. And what I know, mm -hmm. I just don't know a whole lot of just random unnecessary. I don't need to know all that. Mm -hmm. This man knows a lot about a lot, but he don't know everything. That's not true. But this is the energy I'm that That's way. not true. What do I not know? Name 17 things I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Number 17. I remember one specific example where I had to let well enough be. Melissa was editing something on Final Draft? Cut. Final I don't have to be cut because I hate Final Draft. Final Cut in our old house. And... I mean, when I tell y'all, the answer was 0. 0.6 seconds. If I could just show you. Uh-huh. Two, God, that's all I got to do is that. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you, she was like, I will die. Show up. <laughs> figuring it out. Show up. She was like, no. She went and watched YouTube I video. Sure it took like an hour to figure it out just to let me know that she could figure it out. To her credit. Um, she's right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, thing. the unfortunate truth is she is right, well, and I don't the know thing. everything. There but is I do know most of the thing about the both of you. Right Hold Shut up. up. <laughs> the thing about the both of you is that you took 12, 15, whatever number it is, ten plus years because I captured the both of you. Ten plus years to get where you are. You learned. You made mistakes. You made mistakes. You learned. You grew, and now you are where you are. When you don't allow people to go through their path, it doesn't stick the same. So I, for me personally, tell them Liz. God so dang. So I, the day he's talking Fine, about, we struggle. use it. We <laughs> use it all the time. <laughs> yes. okay. Okay. I'll never They're talk fine. to you again. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But it's like much less let, help you. I would never speak until you again. <laughs> but if you allow Jojo, could you me, tell the person sitting next over to there, you? if yeah. they would just hit one, right. two, three X, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> then all, it would all work out very quickly. <sighs> but the thing about it is, you know, I say this all the time. I feel like I can learn anything. Like, die right now. I could probably figure out how to save you. Just pull up a YouTube video. <laughs> yeah. Give me one second. Give me one second. Yeah. Pull up a YouTube that? video. Oh, just drink it. Drink it. I'll figure out the yeah, don't, don't worry about <laughs> it. Die right now. Pull up a YouTube video. I will keep you alive. Or maybe you die. But the next person, they're definitely staying alive. <laughs> <laughs> Next person, I got it. Next time, I got it. Bam! D don't worry about the Maybe you die. Just die. Be the second person to die. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to help you come back to life. But First person. Also, it's like stripping the satisfaction of giving someone. Yes. I figured that out. I figured it out. Now, let me tell you, the part of the story he is not giving, yeah. though, is I that. giving no story. What no, the part of the. <laughs> Whatever this, you were thinking this side, is why it's wrong. The part of the side is that I will show Marcus something that he's asked, and then what will you do? And then what will you do? What would I do? A couple of weeks later, what you going to have me do? I'm going to ask you again. Show me. Oh, and then that. a couple of weeks later, yeah, show me again. One more time. And then I'll be like. But it'll be something that I'm only doing once every couple of weeks. Uh, it ain't like I'm doing it every day. Write it down. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm good for it. Or oh, a list of other things I do. I have a whole uh, YouTube folder. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> With all the tutorials that I know work good. In this, so now I know I'm gonna forget how to do this. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but that is the, the but true. When Marcus has YouTube stuff, he's he's got it. Versus yeah. when I show him, when I show but when him, I want to figure it out. It's just like it's easier for you to just Why show me. You want to figure it out? I done <laughs> did that already. Yeah. In 07 well, this is when the thing. There work. is there is an appreciation though for mm. listen. I'm not saying what I'm doing is right either because low key I'm causing myself a lot of time to hang out, all time to be spending learning stuff that he already know. I agree. Right. I agree. Yeah. I agree. But sometimes Shut up there is a <laughs> there is a balance between the two. Become the safe space to ask the question. Yeah, simple as that. That's what. Uh, that's why. That's therapy. All right then. Quit therapy talking about it. That's why I just do it. <laughs> that's why therapy. I was like, okay, safe space. He can ask me when it's time. <laughs> time he ask. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it is. 
Woo, iffy. She asked me, she said, so why can't you remember to do this? Heifer, last time I did this was six weeks ago. Man, listen. Okay? That's you showed true. me one time. You don't time. do the no, same thing over and over and over again. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'll be like, she said, what will help you remember? Re- repetition. Yes. <laughs> what about writing it down? No. Repetition. Again, come back over here. Show me one more time. Okay. In six weeks, I'll see you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Give me a year, six weeks in between. Yeah. Mm, I figured out by then. Then yeah. I'll be, I'll be proud of myself. Correct. That's what I did. Look, look, look at it. <laughs> look out there. Yeah. <laughs> bango, did bango. It. Yeah, there it is. Uh, therapy is so good because I definitely think that thinks that I definitely think that it teaches you those areas. Like, do you feel like this is interesting thing about therapy? I've said things to Kevin. Actually, I can say he said things to me. And then your therapist saying, you'd be like, mm, I see that. Mm-hmm. Even though you, your spouse told you that same thing over and over and over again, for whatever reason, you couldn't hear it or see it. And then your therapist says it, and all of a sudden, it just makes all the sense in the world. It, it, it You know. I was going to say, therapist, Angel does it with friends. <laughs> <laughs> See, kept yeah. jerk. No, I'm just, it's a common thing. It's like, wives don't be like, their husband could tell them something 15 times. Let them hear it from somebody else. You know what? No, I what don't know what is. that third party does, but it'd be making the sense. She says it right. And so that's what helps me <laughs> is that she says it correctly in order for me to be like, oh, that's what he was meaning. He said it wrong. That's why I didn't get it. So him like, because I would, it would have been nicer as if she would have said he was wrong. But <laughs> she'd be like, "Oh, okay." Now, Unfortunately, now I'm all in. Right now, I'm all in. Yes. Un- Start off with that. Unfortunately, she didn't say that. What she did was she helped articulate it in ways that I could compute what he had been saying, and mm-hmm. then I was like, "Oh, oh. bet if you would have said it that way, <laughs> we could have already been here." <laughs> but you didn't say it that way. Correct. Yeah. So I, that's what I was hoping for. Like, oh, Marcus. She's initiating. Allow her to help, you know, do the thing. But she was like, like Angel. She was like, you're good at initiating conversation. I love this refrain. Not, that, but that's not when you have to allow him to want to enter the conversation. Boy, ain't nothing worse than thinking you. your therapist is going to be on your side and they take the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about I've been waiting for Monday at 6. I'm going to tell you how she was wrong all week. <laughs> I'm going to start this. Y'all don't even want to talk about it. Yes. Wait, how? I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah. No, I told you it was her. I've been in that situation yeah. many a time. I, I go in with the thought process of I'm probably wrong. Man. And then when I'm not, I'm just like, you damn right. <laughs> <laughs> I think and I don't therapy. look at Angel, but I'll be like, in my mind, I'll be like. <laughs> he know. <laughs> I'll fire her right on feel, spot. She well, she can, wrong. She can feel the energy. I'm yeah. just like. <laughs> I'll be ready for it. <laughs> My eyes are big. <laughs> yeah, my eyes are real she, big. Oh, right. She gets into me, but Kev don't, he just don't be hearing it when she gets into me. He always thinks she go fighting with you. No, she always goes off on me. <laughs> it's just not the truth, though. It she be yelling at Liz. No. Just like, it is my truth, therefore the truth. <laughs> exactly. The there, truth. Therefore the I truth. I told my therapist one time, I said, if y'all want to tag team me, then let me know that match off up front. Okay? Because I thought this was one-on-one. You tagging her, I, ain't, I can't tag you. I can't so y'all jumping me in. She's it was like, literally the one time where she was like, we're just going to land the plane here and stay on Kevin. And he was just like, oh, <laughs> oh, the so only- everyone wants to beat me up. <laughs> the only session he remembers. Correct. <laughs> it was me in the office. <laughs> trying to go on her. Yeah. And go- <laughs> literally every other one. She literally, she was like, <laughs> Kevin, does that make sense to you? I was like, first of all, it makes sense to me. So why would you ask him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand this line of questioning. That don't make sense. <laughs> what? One thing I think therapy was really helpful for, and I think that's why quarantine was especially helpful. It uh, not escalated, um, sped up. What's that called? Accelerated. Accelerated, Accelerated something we should have been doing anyway, and it made it like impossible to ignore. But the therapist knows how to ask questions and make things clear. That if you're beefing, it's hard to hear clearly a person you're frustrated with anyway. Mm-hmm. So if you're beefing and she'd be like, what Melissa's saying is that, I'd be like, oh, it's kind of like you were joking about JoJo, tell that person that. When it goes through, it's like filtered now. Yeah. And especially our type of therapy is emotional. Emotionally focused. Emotionally therapy. focused therapy. And as a person who is results driven and efficiency driven, I often don't take in feelings as a part of my equation. Uh, and the therapist and Melissa feelings is the only thing that matters. Even if the truth is the truth. If you don't feel that way, or you feel opposite. 
then it doesn't really matter mm-hmm. if you're if your Melissa doesn't feel that way. And we're talking in another uh, thing. Melissa would be like, she was saying, I can know I'm triggered, know how to come out of it, and my feelings will have me stay there 100%. anyway. Mm-hmm. Be fully aware. I shouldn't be thinking like this. I shouldn't be doing this. And your feelings be like, man, f all that. This mm-hmm. is what we feel, right, right guys? And they'd be like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then logic goes out the window, training goes out the window. So when you, we're in therapy and we're focused on feelings instead of the other stuff, it allows me to speak to that. And if you get the feelings on your side, then you you win. You know what I'm saying? Then logic can come into play. Before I want to ask you to um, your style of therapy, but I have two things I want to say just really quickly on this um, because I think this th- this whole therapy portion is really impor- important. The other part about emotionally focused therapy, I actually. I, Surprise, you guys. I'm actually really emotional. I know you guys didn't know that beforehand, but I just want to make sure I'm very transparent in that. Um, but because I listen to a lot of podcasts and read books and do all of these like self-help things, which I'm totally off of, by the way, I started reading, total side note, I started reading this romance novel in my book club. Let me tell you something. And Best it, thing I ever did. Good. It's just just good, juicy reality TV, but you're flipping pages and stuff. Nice. It's fantastic. Anyway, um, it it wasn't smut, but like Smut's good be. too. I would never. <laughs> no, I, it wasn't smut, but it, it was good. Yeah. It was soft smut. <laughs> it was soft smut. Uh, but what I was gonna say is because I do a lot of work, I don't actually stay in emotion as much as I move into logic. Mm. I can think my feelings instead of feel my feelings oh yeah yeah, that's good i like and so oftentimes what actually my therapist will tell me it's the danger in being every therapist i've ever went to has been like you're just so self-aware shut up Mm -hmm. the danger in that (laughs) is that i think too much Mm -hmm. i i think myself about my feelings and so what my therapist will say when with kevin and i melissa you're you're up here and what I need you to do is move down here. And oftentimes, immediately that triggers uh, crying for me because I've said this a gazillion <laughs> times. Because I am self-aware and because I can string a sentence together, once I understand my feelings, my words can cut deep and sharp, mm-hmm. quick. When I move into my feelings, they're softer. Mm-hmm. And I start telling you how I feel and not about how you just piss me off. And let me tell you why this. Instead, they're like, so you hit and I be insecure. And then all of a sudden, and that's different. And it lands different on the person you're talking to (laughs) versus when I'm very much in my, okay, so listen. What happened was, and you said this, and let me tell you why that was wrong, okay? Because you're selfish. Do you understand what selfish means? (laughs) What that means is that. (laughs) Yeah, that I'm too far gone by that time. Yeah. And it's not going to be met with, oh, I understand. It's going to be met with, now you're defensive. <laughs> you have words for me. Oh, and you come with the words. Because by that point, I've already thought about what you're going to say about me. So let me tell you why what you're talking to me about <laughs> is also wrong. Right, right. <laughs> Gather. It's the gathering. Oh, I, I'm not a gatherer, but I am a gatherer. <laughs> yes. I don't know what to tell you. That's she very much a tight ponytail. Yes. Uh, tell me more. So I don't know what we just said. I can't remember. You my were question. saying what style of therapy? I <laughs> yes. don't know. I have I have no idea what it's called. But we have had to do a lot of work with emotions. Like yourself, I am self aware, and I'm more so. I thought emotions had no place in life. I was like, they're like weeds. Why are they here? They're just sprouting up, ruining things. Rip them out. One thing she taught me that has helped tremendously with him she has this i feel like a child but it is so helpful she has this emotion wheel love it that has all of these emotions on there and there's and then as you get to the smaller circle there's more emotions Mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. and i operate mainly out of what she calls the hard emotions right which she was like we as human beings aren't trained to deal with someone giving us those hard emotions typically we become defensive when we're met with Hard emotions. Mm-hmm. I'm mad. Hard or heart? Hard. H a r d. I'm mad. I'm emotions angry. Emotions be hard. There Correct. You go. Book two. <laughs> Listen <laughs> up, penguin. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I'm angry. I'm mad. I'm pissed off. Those are my hard emotions. But at the core, are all of my soft emotions. I'm disappointed. Um, I I'm afraid. Mm-hmm. Those are. She was like, when communicating, or so even in not just in our personal marriage but also in our business relationship 
she has given me the tools to come to him with the soft emotions, which also helps uh, me put the brakes on because I can easily get like yourself. Like I'm going real fast. And while Marcus is a softy concerning me, he, he's also no punk. So if I'm coming at him strong on some stuff, Marcus is going to uh, very quickly charge in. <laughs> <laughs> like I look down the road, like, oh, she's running. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me run too. <laughs> exactly. And then, and then I, I still don't get the desired result, sure. which a lot of times is just acknowledging what I'm saying, recognizing what I'm saying mm -hmm. and like seeing, mm -hmm. okay, did you play a part in this or not? That's half the time. That's more than a sorry. I need, please just recognize that I'm not crazy in this. And oh this Lord. is what happened. Right. Yeah. We're suddenly <laughs> the same person. <laughs> this is the first time we right are the there. same. Boom. Cancers. There you go. Uh, oh. So that is, uh, I don't know if it's an emotional base, but when it concerns, uh, because I work with her separately as well, but when it's concerned, uh, concerning him and I, I needed that tool so badly because I really, I, even though I have the language to express myself and to say exactly mm -hmm. what I meant to say, it's not going to be a lot of, oh, that's not what I meant. Nah, mm -hmm. I said what I meant. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure I did. <laughs> it's still not fully painting the total colors of everything. Absolutely. So if I'm all over this with this painting with all the red because that's how I'm feeling underneath all that is all these pastels that he's not getting to see because I didn't allow him to see that part of the picture. And he's like, F this whole painting and throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> Where my lighter at? I mean, right. It's flammable, ain't it? That's good, yeah. Angel. Very good. Uh, yeah. Uh, with me, it was actually kind of realizing I was doing the emotion wheel and not knowing that's what it was because in the moment, like, I'm mad. I know I'm mad from being married for so long and having the experience. This is like, it's best you not talk in that moment. Mm -hmm. Walk away, cool off, and then come back. And nine times out of 10, most likely it's changing verbally what I would say in, th in that moment versus what I would have said earlier. Mm -hmm. um, so realize, hearing about the emotion wheel and then Angel telling me about like, oh, well, we talked about this and this is the way. And then I realized it's like, so in the moments where she wants to talk about something, I'm like, I'm not ready to talk about it. That's giving me time to let me dive deeper. Let, let, let me first of all let me come down off the anger because as you can flip it off, like, oh, okay, me, I need time to let it simmer, mm. T turn the heat off. The water's still gonna be hot, right? Let that water get to room temperature, yeah, because <laughs> it's gonna take some time. Because I'm like, get in yeah, here, and like, burn yeah, off the skin. Just, yeah, I'm like, no, <laughs> because regardless of if, if even if she's like, you know what, I'm sorry, I was wrong, I don't want to hear it, I just want to be mad right now, I, I need time to let this let this run through me. You know, it's like you, you drank the liquor, it needs to get through your system and out. <laughs> it's in me, it's fusing in me, I know it is. I'm like, you know what, just give me a moment. You can't even hear the sorry? Oh, I can hear the sorry, but it ain't gonna have the same effect as, as it would if I had time to just let me chill out for the whole moment. Even in therapy, when she would ask him questions, he'd be like, you gonna have to give me a, a lot of time yeah, it, to it, answer what you just asked me. Because yeah. she be, just like Angel, I said, this is exhausting. I even brought you up, I said, they go to a place in their mind that I don't go. It be some deep, like, so what do you feel when this happens? And I'm like, I don't feel, what, huh? Yeah. So she was sitting there, yeah, she, she was sitting there talking. I said, you're going to have to either dumb it down or give me time to think about these answers. Because I said, right now, you're giving me a nosebleed. Right. <laughs> I don't go here in my mind. He said, we it's can't untapped. do this on podcast days. He was like, we can't. It's he said, I can't, I can't do both. He was like, I am drowning over here. Yeah. Wait. Give me a second <laughs> like, to can't. understand what the heck you just asked me. Yeah, I was like, I, I, don't, I don't go there yeah. mentally. Mm -hmm. Kevin doesn't either. Boy, I don't. Oh. Just real quick, we Go were, ahead. was it when we were hiking? I don't know, we was in, on vacation at Turks and Caicos. Angel would just come out with these random questions that these, she thought was fun. And I'm like, she, and then she's like, okay, you go. What? This is not fun for me. No. This is mentally this draining. It's difficult. It's like it climbing the mountain with no shoes. <laughs> I'd be like, Melissa, what, when people be over and she'd be like, She's let's like, talk about our childhood traumas. Yeah. <laughs> Why? It's just the questions about our marriage that I thought would be reflective and beautiful. And he was just like, <laughs> <laughs> she was, and I finally came up with the I guess uh, you know uh, uh, 
She was like, okay, your turn. I know you done lost your goddamn. Clearly, you you married the wrong person. <laughs> Let's rethink this. I guess, uh, you know what I'm saying? You understand me? What it is ain't what yeah. it is. Guess what it is yeah. ain't. And, what yeah, it ain't and then it you is. do the under, under your digs and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I really was like so excited. We were in the ocean, and I was like, "So, babe, I don't remember what the How question was." How could you jack this moment up? <laughs> of relaxation. Oh, it was a speedboat coming with a machine gun on the front. Run! <laughs> That's the equivalent to the same thing. No, we was in paradise, it and was all of a beautiful. sudden, <laughs> it was beautiful. Oh, that's he hilarious. didn't see it that way. I love I'm those sorry, questions. Kev. Go ahead. I don't know. What I was gonna say, but Melissa be loving to delve deep into the emotional well on just a Thursday evening. <laughs> <laughs> you want a glass of wine? Why aren't you more vulnerable, huh? He's like, I didn't get a chance to speak to the wine part of it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean about the vulnerability? And she love it. Yeah, she, I do. I want to play taboo. She want to play. We're not really strangers. They made the same so game. Mm-hmm. I so want to say Tao, Tao, Tao. She want to be like when you were eleven and they left you at home alone. How did that shape you? No, <laughs> no. Because it all Angel's matters. Loving. Angel's like. Mm. That's it matters. all matters. <laughs> That's why my therapy sessions are an hour and a half long. Because I was like, hours not enough. Oh, I told I her. I want in it. I, I want to get in it. I said, any meeting over an hour is wasted Too time. Long. She said, so Marcus, I'm wasting your time. The therapist, I said, no, this is good. However. <laughs> <laughs> However, plus also. 59. <laughs> yeah, 59, 59 minutes 59. and 59 seconds. <laughs> Cut I love off. those conversations. I do too. This is how my my good friendships are the ones uh, not good. The friendships that uh, I some of the friendships that I cherish the most are the ones where I feel like we can just swim deep in conversation. It might not have been the intention when we started the talking, but then we just start. Oh, it feels so good. My, my sister and I, I just told you the story. We were me, Kevin and I went to um, New York. We saw the Kevin Hart, Chris Rock, and Dave Chappelle came out. And when it all makes sense, because I'm gonna circle back now. Dave Chappelle's what I want you to get out the story. Mm-hmm. So we did. Kev had the ADD, twenty five thousand, a hundred thousand, million subscriber party. Something. Mm-hmm. It don't matter. Any movie. It was. Uh, it was Def Jam twenty five. There we go. Something, yeah. The point is, Dave Chappelle came out again. So he was there. He came out. He did this thing. Afterward, I realized I've never watched a single episode. Stone me. Of the Dave Chappelle show. The Chappelle show. I know. You Chappelle can tell me. It. Show, show. I've never watched a single episode of it. After that. This is a good point. Yes. After that. Um, I forgot my no, point. No, no. She went to watch Dave Chappelle. Yes, thank you. That's killing, exactly right. Okay. Killing him so, softly. Shush, 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 shush. So after that, right? So we went. Uh, he, we saw him there. And Mel must have been with us. Maybe it was after. Regardless, I was like, oh, my God. Now I'm hooked. Like, I need to watch and consume all the Dave Chappelle content there is. Tell me a special we need to watch. They told us it was killing me softly. My sister and I are trying to watch. We're scrolling through every social media streaming app, Netflix, Hulu, all the things. We find zero Dave Chappelle specials. Somehow, instead, we decide to watch the Khalif Browder story. Wow. When you all were going to she watch She was searching for special. killing them softly. Yes. Okay. This is a long Didn't story just to that. tell you that. And, and, and knew what, and just so you guys understand, knew what Khalif Browder's story was. Correct. She wasn't like, oh, let's just check this out. No. Knew and was like, let's watch this Give me this the paper instead. towels. When I tell and you, cried. and I feel like it's a mini series. I think it's like a few it different was. episodes. It was four episodes. So my sister and I watched it on a Saturday. All of it in one sitting. Also don't recommend. When I tell you we were bawling. Our eyes out. Not do that. I mean, just and he didn't even have a chance to live, and then he got out, and then the system is so wrong. And then I mean, just you could have watched bawling. the Nutty Professor. We, Dave Chappelle's it. in that. <laughs> it's one just of my favorite that. stories though, because it's also very indicative of who I am as a Ooh, person. Jesus. To start off trying to watch a comedy special and instead ending on the Khalif Brown with emotional special, turmoil I mean, story. And the rest of the day having a headache, crying our eyes out, talking about the injustices of, of black men in America. Like, that was my evening, and that's who I am as a person. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
Liz. I still haven't watched the Dave Chappelle show <laughs> or the show or any I of the specials, the, by the way. Oh, I got the DVDs. You, you know, I, yeah. we don't have a DVD player. Dang, that's right. We have the PS5. We do. We oh do. yeah, we do. We do. We I do. need to make this a thing. I need to go back and actually watch. You one need of to his watch Killing Popcorn and Wine. It's a <laughs> roller coaster ride that you go on. One that you thought was wooden, but all of a sudden there's loops. Yes, <laughs> that's what. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, this is gonna be fun. Why are we wait. upside down? Why like, is there a space in the track up there? Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, literally, that's me in a nutshell. Um, okay, last question. Yes, we're over. Okay, very good. Um, I'm just gonna go straight here. Mm-hmm. It's the last piece. All right, last question that we ask all of our couples. Okay. What piece of advice would you give your younger married self? Mm-hmm. Uh, younger married self, do all the things before the kids show up do be all the selfish married things you want to be i think we thought oh we're being so responsible by how we behaved as a married couple i think we took marriage really seriously which we still do um and so i think we were just really focused on we've got to grow to this thing we're we're going to do these things and i think a lot of stuff we put off but our youngest child is only about to be three, so we have a long time before we have the just he and yeah, I time. We should have did all the swinging and coke <laughs> earlier on. <laughs> earlier on, you meant swinging. No, no. brought coke and I was like, oh, that was a different swinging. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I really do wish there's a part of me, even though uh, we were only married for two years before we ended up having our first child. There's so much stuff that we could have more than likely oh, yeah. did had we not been just so like I don't know. We were. Married in our 20s, almost acting as if we were already in our 40s. Yeah, we, we were a young Kentucky couple married living the American dream of living in Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Meaning yeah. we're just trying to be stable, working, yeah. and that's it. Mm-hmm. No, uh, She was living her dream somewhat, but it wasn't nowhere near what her dream is now. I yeah. think that's what... Yeah, and yeah. I think like tra- like I wish we would have traveled more. Mm-hmm. Now it costs a million dollars to go anywhere. It that costs money to look at stuff. Listen. Yes. What you doing Stop. looking at Aruba? Yeah. 700. Man. Well, listen to the YouTube video, 700. And don't come over here again. Man. I just, I'd be like going out, going to the club, anything. I just think we were just so, we had this thing of, okay, we're now married. We, we, we have to be, you know, it was just such a mature thing we were doing when we were still young. Yeah. We should have did young, fun stuff. Stupid stuff, but we did, or just young, fun stuff. We did none of it. Yeah. Mm, we traveled back home for the holidays. That's it. Yeah. Um, and during the, and not just yeah, the holidays. Say, yeah, all year round. We would, we're going to go home and we look at the same people. Tucky, yeah. <laughs> Um, they both uh, changed their voice. <laughs> that's, <what laughs> that's, our, that's our stupid voice. Yeah. That's, <laughs> we're going to do this thing. We're going to do this. I'm going to go fly for the job and go there. <laughs> um, I would say. One, be fearless. Mm. Like, cause that, I'll answer that one real quick. Be fearless because my thing was, especially once we had the youngest, the oldest, is, well, all this ambition that I have is like, I gotta be stable. You mm-hmm. know, I can't go out and seek that, which is the dumbest thing you could think. Yes, it is. Uh, look, you know, high sight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no, for one, be fearless. Two, uh, be more willing to change than what you are. Mm-hmm. And when I say change, meaning uh, be like water, not say completely go with the flow. However, be ready to bend and be flexible. Yeah. Even though I was flexible, it's like I could have been a lot more flexible than what I was. And let me be the glass that holds you in. No. Yes. <laughs> and gives you the be shape. Water, my friend. Be the shape we that I am putting you in. <laughs> pretty sure we would have been homeless a couple of times. <laughs> yes. Let's have fun. But together. Right. And having deep conversations. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Melissa gets so, it. So how did you feel when they came and snatched us yes. out of our <laughs> Mama. And then you would be sitting here today with a great story. Do you remember when they repossessed our car? Listen, listen. It's a great story. Oh, it would have been. It's a great story. Uh-huh. I actually 100% agree. I tell uh, or told Kevin this here recently because Mel and my sister, my sister and my brother in law got married later after they'd been married or together five, six years Minute. through their 20s. Yeah. And they traveled and did all the things. And I was like, Kev, what? we was too saved. Uh-huh. We was out Sorry. here being. We also didn't have no money. 
that's a part of our story. Rack up the dead. Forget. It's okay today. Yeah. Oh, now it's okay, but no, when I did for the playmakers, today, it wasn't okay. Because <laughs> y'all was working up too much dead. Uh, but hey, I so. agree. I wish that we could go back and say and do the things uh, that would allow us to be young. Yes. And ma- like, marriage be hard, marriage be fun. Marriage yeah. be fun. Yes. Absolutely. Marriage be fun. Yeah. And I don't think that we often capitalize on how much fun you could potentially have for doing all the adult things. Yeah. I'm not saying be irresponsible. Right. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that. Although, but. I was going to say, <laughs> although, plus also and, yeah. I do sometimes wish in my 20s I were a little, I was a little bit more mm-hmm. irresponsible. Yeah. Not to a point where I couldn't like undo and repair myself. More free free yeah. yeah all we ever did in college was go to ihop at late at night nah, like that was how? our waffles yeah. Waffle house. House. it's wet yeah, we live we right. lived like wild then we got married and was like all right we married let's come and we and weren't old. really wild we, no, weren't we, wild. Weren't. we weren't crazy wild but we weren't wild at all we went to the <laughs> same place on fridays danced went back to your place got waffle house watched the movie had sex went to sleep <laughs> <laughs> that's true that was not <laughs> That was I'm, not I'm thinking, wild. I'm thinking pre-angel. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there is no pre-angel. You get exactly. <laughs> Black hole. So we well, had Waffle House and had sex. And that and was the end. That Kentucky. was the end. That was not wild. That was that was literally every yeah. single Friday. But then you are also, we romanticizing young? Say it. Go ahead. No, I said, but you also had your California life. I had my Kentucky life. We, we were, were boring. Doing, yeah, we were. No. Go ahead. I wonder if we're romanticizing. <laughs> How are your 20s, Taylor? Are you wild and lo- having a great time? Oh, shut up then. Man, get out of here. Stop talking. <laughs> Y'all can't hear. Her. She says she loves her 20s. Oh, that's what I said. You married at 27? And I was married at 24. <laughs> were you married at 24? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I was. Oh, we, oh, we were 21. 25? He was 25. 25. Yeah, we I said 21. 27. Yeah, I was married at 25. He's married at 25. I said, come on, Victor. You enjoying me. your 20s? Oh, yeah. Shut up, you. Oh y'all, shut. You See, 20? this is the energy He's I a need. Baby? How old are you, Cam? 27. 27. Right on. Oh, I thought you were babies. All right, y'all. All right, my if you're buy, in buy your 20s, shut up. If you're in your 20s and you're enjoying it. F you then. <laughs> <laughs> but the good part for us, this major mark is messed up on both sides. They they had the kids and continued. We were young and broke, and then the kids grew up. Now things are great, and the kids are just about to be gone. And I they know, was right there. There was like back. another baby. Oh no, little Marcus is going to raise Amar. That's what ah! I say. He's already raised. That's what I couldn't believe. We have a solution to Marcus, the problem. He, he's hungry, cooking for food. <laughs> he's hungry. Yeah. Your little brother son is uh, hungry. Your little brother yeah. son. Yeah. <laughs> I be telling Amar, you be just be nice, little Marcus. He's gonna be the one raising you here soon. <laughs> Love it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us for our. You don't know the order. You don't know. No, I was waiting for you to be done. Oh. so. Thank you guys so much for joining us for our Marriage Be Hard series. If you are unaware, Marriage Be Hard is available soon. You can go to the website in our description box, marriagebehard.com to get your copy today. We love and appreciate your support. Until the next video, bye. Peace out.